Okay guys, so welcome to this final episode of the designing of the dual polarity supply. So we're back at the workbench and we're going to open up this box and I'm going to explain how to build your module and how to place your component inside the box. Enjoy. Okay, so here we have the final result and when you press the on switch, actually you have the power LED that powers up and it shows you that the plus 15 volt is working and the minus 15 volt is working and when I was talking about the connector at the output well it's just alligator clip soldered on a long wire to get more usable and practical we're gonna power it off and in order to open the casing you have to unscrew the four screw okay so at the back we have the input of the power cable and here we have a little bit of a mess because I didn't drill a nice and clean hole but it's a fuse holder and which is really really useful if you just want to change the fuse you take your flathead screwdriver this is not a flathead screwdriver it's a popsicle stick in order to open the box use strength always use the strength yeah yeah okay it's coming out because it's tightly fit inside i think i'm just gonna unplug the power supply right now before i fire up something okay we're back i don't know if you can see in there but the live is going into a connector and it's soldered to one hand of the fuse holder and the other end of the fuse holder is going into the switch here this little switch and the other end is getting back right here the transformer so the live and the neutral are plugged into the transformer input right here and the transformer is screwed in the casing which is pretty okay so it won't move and then we have these three wires three of these wires are green but one of them has a yellow line and this one is gonna be your ground these two are the secondary AC output then it's going into the input of the bridge rectifier which is here and the positive is going to the regulator and these big caps are the filtering of the pulses and at the output of these regulator we have a little hundred capacitor going to the output with another small filtering capacitor which was not which is optional and the output are connected to this wire that goes to the alligator clip and we have these LED here which uh, which are power LED so you don't need to use any resistor if you have any question feel free to ask because each design will be different sometimes you must be a little bit creative to to house your circuit in there it's not always easy once you have the good box I suggest you draw a little bit before soldering all your stuff and assembling your circuit okay guys so we are here for the final test I'm gonna plug the positive to the positive and we're gonna measure what voltage my power supply is outputting right now we're testing the positive output we have 14.86 which is not that bad I'm pretty proud of it and look at the variation here it's pretty stable now we're gonna test for the negative output minus 15.05 pretty good here we're supposed to have 30 volt if everything is good yeah we have 29.8 which is pretty close of 30 volt and like I told you suppose it's supposed to be short circuit protected so I should not experience any any spark 
I should not damage my IC when I'm shorting, so I don't recommend doing this, <laughs> but I do it just for the test. So that's it. You have all the tool to design your power supply right now, and I'm still there to answer your question, give you documentation, and help you, advise you. Feel free to ask. So guys, that was really quick and that's it for the season 3 which was about designing your power supply. I hope you enjoyed the season, it was short and sweet, it's just that I didn't want to go into the big explanation and the big calculation, I want to make something easy to build and safe to build also. Since we're using those LM series regulator, uh, it's protected at the output and it's uh, capped at one, about 1 amp or 2 depending on which one you choose. And if you can subscribe and like my video, I would be really happy about that. And for sure we will meet again for a fourth season, so don't miss the stuff coming out. See ya! Mm -hmm.